Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be going over our Pack to Power Crusade that we're doing, uh, as well as opening a few packs that you probably should not open. Nobody should open them, but we're going to open them. So anyways, let's start with our Pack to Power. For those of you who don't know what it is, essentially Pack to Power is where you start off with a single pack of Magic the Gathering cards. I mean, I'm suppose you could do it with like Pokemon or whatever, but we're doing it with magic. And then you take that pack of cards and you trade everything in it. You just keep trading, 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 and you essentially don't turn down a single trade as long as all those trades are slightly in your favor. Uh, so that's what we did. When we started off, uh, the pack we opened was kind of nice because it had a Chromium the Mutable in it. Uh, and it had a value of $9.75 for the entire pack. Uh, we have since grown, so we're going to go over what we currently have in that um, in our trade binder for Pack to Power now. Now, one of the things that we're doing that's going to be a little bit different is we're only doing this for a year. We have a cutoff time for this. And at the end of that year, we're going to auction off or just straight out sell uh, the card collection we amass from this. Uh, and it's going to be going to char charity. Uh, unfortunately, the charity that I had picked, um, something fell through and it's just not going to work out. Uh, so I'm currently <laughs> looking for a new charity uh, to give to. Uh, if any of you all have any suggestions of charities you particularly like, uh, leave a comment down below or send me a message, let me know, and, uh, and we'll look into it. So, anywho, what we have now... Uh, we have got a copy of Delver of Secrets, a Departed Deckhand, that is Foil, Invisible Stalker, we had a Rat Colony, Athalia's Lieutenant, Bygone Bishop, uh, Eternal Witness from uh, the last Commander uh, Anthology set, um, we've got an Isareth the Awakener, a Militia Bugler, and that's a promo, uh, Phylactery Lich, Ragamuffin, that was kind of cool, uh, Steel Leaf Champion, Blood Gift Demon, Colonian Hydra, also from one of the Commander sets, uh, Burning Suns Avatar, a Demon Lord, Bells and Lock, a Foil Essence Scatter, uh, a Switcheroo, Nexus of Fate, which last time really put our numbers up, because that thing was like 40, 50 bucks, something like that, or no. It was like 35 40 somewhere on there. I, I believe that's where it was at last time. It has fallen greatly since then, so that's unfortunate. But anyways, we have a Vivian's Invocation, a Sarkhan's Unsealing, a Foil Foul Orchard, and a Reliquary Tower from 19. Uh, we also have a couple tokens in there. Uh, I think it's a Germ token and a Poison Counter token back from uh, New Phyrexia or Mirrodin Besiege, one of those. But anyways, that's where we're at right now with our pack to power. We've done a lot of trading. Uh, this weekend uh, coming up is going to be Grand Prix Detroit, so I'm really hoping to get some cards moving there. Uh, in fact, if any of y'all are going to be out there, please drop me a line and let me know. I'd love to meet up with any and all of you. It's going to be a fun time. I'm going to be a drafting maniac uh, at GP Detroit. So uh, anyways, our grand total for where we're at right now, and I honestly thought we were going to be below last month's video uh, because of Nexus dropping so much, but we actually did gain some more value even with that price dropping. Our grand total now is $66.37. Now that is TCG mid, not market. Um, so we can't actually sell them for that amount, but that's what we're using to gauge our price here. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank everyone that has traded with us and I'm looking forward to, uh, to this thing expanding and, uh, in the end, we're going to have a lot of fun, and it's all going to go to a good cause. So, anyways, on to packs. The stuff you should never open. Now, I've seen videos about these before. I've never bought them because I've never actually seen them at a local store. But, uh, I was at the dollar store. My kids love the dollar store. They go in there, they can take their allowance, and they can just fill up on pointless, but stuff they like. Whatever. I saw them. The 20 <laughs> random trading cards. And you know, I, I picked them up and I said to myself, as I'm picking them up, I'm like, you know what, these are all absolute garbage. There's going to be no value in here. Um, I've never seen a video where anyone opened these and they were worth anything. And I told myself, this is a bad idea. As I was putting them in the cart, you should put those back. This is a horrid idea. So I got four of them. 
uh, just to see. I've never done it before, uh, so you guys are going to go on this journey with me. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and start cracking this open just so we can see. Uh, as you can see, we got the, the four packs here. Oh, tell you what, let's do a quick little... Uh, in one of last week's videos, or maybe the week before that, we were doing a Patreon video. And we're doing our, uh, our Patreon Build-A-Pack box, which if you don't know what that is, go on the link down below this video. Check out our Patreon page for 10 bucks. You get a hell of a deal. Anyway, someone mentioned, like, hey, do you have any pre... I believe it was the uh, 8th or 9th edition foil lands because every patron over uh at four dollars and above they get a foil land and i've started looking through and no we don't we don't have any of those old foil lands so ta-da we got some just to go ahead and put into our patreon build a pack box for all our patrons that receive foil lands all pre eighth edition uh, we got a seventh edition. We got we got a onslaught. Uh, I forget that simple I, invasion. Is that invasion? I could be wrong on that. Another seventh masks. So yep, these are going into our Patreon. Build a pack box. Check that out. We got some awesome videos coming up for those as well. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and. Oh, they're heat sealed. I'm like, how do you open these? All right, then. Well, let's go ahead and get some scissors. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know they were heat sealed. All right, let's see what trash we pull. All right, we got a camel. Uh, open fire, tormenting voice, reaver drone. Throttle, Loyal Pegasus, uh, Ether Inspector, Death Pole Raider, Prophetic Ravings, Aroa's Champion, Tenacity. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. This is like, this is worse than Chaff. Traveler's Amulet, uh, Stitch Wing Scab. Come on. Uh, Lost Leonin, that's actually, I mean, it's, I don't think it's worth absolutely anything, but it's actually not a bad card. I kind of like that one. So then I have, look at, they're all Shriek Geist. All right, well, did this one just go up? This, I thought this one just saw something because of the, the spirits, I don't know. Uh, we got Vandalize, Volcanic Rush, Pitchburn Devils, Plummet, and Bombard. Wow. Uh, I'm honestly not going to blame y'all if y'all stop watching right here. But don't because we got more stuff after this. I came prepared. Okay, so two heads. Kind of an older one, isn't it? Yeah. All right. We've got a Scrounger of Souls, Defiant Kenra. Get focused there. We got a Sarah Disciple. I mean, that's. It's not worth anything, but Divination, that was actually for a little bit up there, but not really. Uh, Reprisal. Uh, Riot Ringleader. Scrapper. Manor Skeleton. Golden Hind. Armament of Nyx. Hey, we got a rare! <laughs> March from the Tomb. What a good rare. Uh, dutiful Servants, but you know, at least we got a rare, I guess. Uh, Stratus Walk, Looming Spires, Thorned Moloch, uh, Evernight Shade, that's actually not bad. Latch Seeker, Mist Raven, Cacophodon, Reaver Ambush. All right, well, I mean, th that pack was actually better than the, than the first one. Um, I don't think any of these are going to be like, holy cats, we got a deal. But, I don't know. At least I can cross this off my list of something that I have done. Alright, we got a Steadfast Sentinel, uh, Beneath the Sands, Elvish Fury. Hey, Tempest, that's, I'll take that. Uh, Riptide Biologist. Um, I don't know. Uh, Tristani Summoner, that's, I love that card. 
Oh, this card is so good. Limited. Dawn Feather Eagle. Grave Digger. Titan Strength. Whoops. We got Elusive Spell Fist. Foundry Hornet. Uh, Hecma Sentinels. Backwards and Upside Down. <laughs> Uh, Netcaster Spider, Depth's Desire, Blazing Volley, Inventor's Apprentice, Divination, Active Treason, Debilitating Injury, Stampeding Horncrest, and Vampire Revenant. Uh, no rares in that one, but we did get a couple older cards. Uh, now, of course, I'm, I'm going to go back through, and when we edit this, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the prices, and I'll see if, I, if there was actually anything worth anything in this. Um... Uh, I'm going to venture and say no, <laughs> but we'll see. All right, we got uh, Shadow Slice, Shamble Shark, love that card. Uh, Advocate of the Beast, Sidewander, Naga, Firebrand Archer, Rewind. Rewind? No, it's not worth anything. Okay. Uh, Laguna Ban Elder, Hench Fiend of Ukor. Hey, we got a couple from uh, uh, Wow Spiral Time Spiral. No, not Time Spiral. Um, I, Future Sight. Holy cats! Wow, I don't know what happened there. Uh, we got a Flowstone Embrace. Oh, we got another one. Ghost Fire. What? Undo Champion, uh, Shredding Winds, another Divination, Etched Oracle, that's not too shabby, Battle Rattle Shaman, Shadow Alley Denizen, uh, Razorgrass Screen, look at these, Screaming Fury, Shatter, and Sanguine Glorifier. Um, okay, well that was the last one. I'm not going to call this a win by any stretch of the imagination, but... It's honestly not as bad as I thought. Um, there were a couple older cards in there. But now, just to wash that bad taste out of our mouth, we're going to go ahead and open up a couple newer packs, some Core 19, just to have a chance at opening something halfway decent. Uh, go ahead and skip through all the doo doo doo. Um, Psychic Corrosion, like that card. Colossal Majesty, Vampire Sovereign, and Open the Graves. Hey, we got a Foil Mountain. Uh, this is going to go in with these. All Foil Lands go into our Patreon Build a Pack box so uh, our patrons can get them later on. So, Open the Graves. Uh, so let's go ahead and open one more. The curse of having booster boxes at my desk. I've actually done pretty well. I've got another half box of uh, M13. I've got some Ravnica over there. Um, uh, more more Core 19. I think I've got some Dominaria over there. Just stuff. Uh, Gaspark Twins, Aether Shield Artificer, Departed Deckhand, and hey, we got a Vivictus Asmati the Dire. Um, not the Elder Dragon we're looking for, but I'll take it. It's a mythic. Good stuff there. All right. Well, that about wraps this up. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, and like I said, I am going to be at GP Detroit this coming weekend. Uh, I'll be there Saturday and Sunday. So if you're there, give me a shout, give me a high five. If you see me, um, you know, say hi, something. I would love to meet as many of you as possible. That's going to be awesome. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do me a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe. Be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do me one last favor, and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.